Welcome, welcome to the Fret Frontier. Another exciting lesson we're going on to the next part of sitting on the dock of the bay. So let's take a look at uh, what we have here with the uh, chords. So we're doing sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Okay, so that's what we basically have going on in the chords. So while we would be over there playing these chords, right, there would be another guitar doing this uh, part here. Watching the tide roll away, sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. What I'd like to do is this part uh, incorporate a little bit of the rhythmic movement of this uh, when we come over onto the baritone ukulele side to spice it up a little bit. So meet me there. So here we are with our baritone ukulele. What we're going to do now is run through our chords. We don't have a lot of chords on this. So we've got our G. Okay, we have our E. And then we will also uh, use an A, but not our open A. Our open A would be here. We're going to use our bar chord. So we're going to come up on the fifth fret. This is that first finger across the first two strings. Second finger on the sixth fret. Third finger on the seventh fret. Okay. But we're not going to bar this index finger. We're going to let that index finger be kind of loose there. We're only interested in the second, third, and fourth string. So to hear that and then we're also going to use that for G when we're coming to that and we, and we are trying to steal or um, steal is not the right word we are trying to emulate what's going on with the um, this part okay so we'll uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a second Okay, so let's take a look at what we're doing with the G chord in our basic pattern. Uh, for this will be thumb, index, down, up with that index finger, and we're hitting basically the uh, first three strings with that down. Up. So we have fourth string, second string, down, up, and then it repeats, so twice in the same measure. One and two and three and four and... And then that PM means palm mute. So you can let your palm uh, rest on that bass note a little bit on the back of the bridge. Not so much that you don't hear the string, but just so that you uh, deaden it a little bit. Let's move on to the E chord. So we have our E chord. Four, three, down, up. Four, three, down, up. Back to the G. Four, two. from the 5th fret to the 7th fret on that 4th string. Okay, so what was that? That was 5 to 7. Then the 5th fret on the 2nd string. 4th fret on the 3rd string. Down up on the little chord that you built while you were doing that. So you slide up. Get the first finger in place, get the second finger in place, you're ready for the chord. Down, up. Then we repeat that exact same pattern starting on the third fret and coming up to the fifth. Okay, so I'm going to do those again, the A and the G. back to the E. Okay, it's a little bit more interesting than just doing the straight strums like we did on uh, the guitar part because we're blending in, we're emulating a little bit of that uh, riff pattern that would be happening if we had another guitar playing with us and it's easier to 
uh, do that on our baritone ukulele. So there's an advantage there, a place where uh, playing something like this actually gives you some interesting uh, ideas, perspectives, abilities, uh, things that you can do that you might not find as advantageous on the guitar because you can keep everything in that little, that timbre, that range without that really low resonating bass. All right, let's play this through. One, two, three, four, six. And what happens if you let that first string ring out when you do the A and the G? Nothing. It'll blend in there. It'll sound just fine. Okay. So if you want a little crisper, a little cleaner, and uh, that E string uh, bothers you, mute it. If you like it open and airy and you think that that adds a little something to it, let it ring out. It's fine. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. And in the next episode, we'll go on to the next part of the song. See you then. Thanks for joining me.